Hey guys, welcome on back to another um, LEGO review, and today I'm reviewing two sets from two different franchises. So, one is Star Wars, and one is Knights and Knights, and I'm not reviewing the Ultimate Batmobile, but we are currently working on the um, Ultimate Batmobile. It's over there, um, and we're still building it. We just need to fin do one more vehicle, and then we're done, which there will probably be a review for that, too. Cause it's really big and plus it was my end of the year school gift um and yeah and this is basically my last day of, I mean not last day of summer second day of summer and yeah so anyways let's get started so we'll start with the Nexo Knights set first now I don't really collect Nexo Knights but then I thought I might watch the show soon so I thought I might as well just start collecting sets and I did get one for my birthday, and I thought, hmm, this does seem pretty interesting. So then I decided to get more. Um, so, yeah. So, the first minifigure we have is, um, a knight. Um, which does come with this, um, helmet, which looks pretty cool. I don't know if we got, like, a knight helmet like this before. I don't know. Maybe on, like, another minifigure. But, um... What I do know for sure is that we def definitely didn't get it in blue before. Um, and then he does also come with this pointy staff. And then um, you take off all of this. He does come with this chest piece, which uh, looks pretty cool. I don't know if he's supposed to have anything on the back or not, but um, how I was looking through the instructions doesn't look like it. Um, we'll go through the body and legs later, but he does have two different expressions. Um, one's this one, and then one's this one, which, to admit, to be honest with you, I don't really know what the difference is, so just tell me in the comment section below. Although I think... I don't really know. So, now we're gonna be, um, oh, dang it. I'm going to be showing the body, which, um, the body does look pretty cool. Um, I think it's pretty detailed, which most of these Nexo Knights minifigures, in my personal opinion, look pretty detailed, and they are pretty detailed. Um, but I do like the arm orange chest thing. Um, I don't know if this guy's, like, an actual, um, guy who matters in the Nexo Knights, um, show. So, next minifigure in this set, um, I don't know his name, but, um, we do have, like, an evil troll or, or something. Um, I think he does look pretty cool, and I switched the, uh, um, crossbow around, because I kind of like their weapons, like, left-handed and stuff, um, but he does look like a pretty cool character, um, and then how this works is, just pull it back, oh, damn. Oh, we have an extra one of these. So I'll just get that and reload it. All right. Um, but then he does have some pretty cool uh, legs too. Um, I thought they were either like robotic legs or like night legs. And then he does not have a shirt on, but yeah. Um, then, uh, I'm sorry. Then um, he does have like an arrow thing on the back, which maybe he shoots arrows out of his crossbows um but yeah and then he also has a mohawk um which looks pretty cool um this is my second time getting the mohawk piece i also have it for uh zebra man from uh the lego batman movie set um which is probably one of my favorite lego batman movie sets but uh yeah so um one last thing before we move on to the star wars set and it's the vehicle so this vehicle does look pretty cool. Um, I think the coolest thing and one of the coolest things about it is, you know how you get, like, normal rockets and then it's just, like, a random piece? Well, not for Nexo Knights, because Nexo Knights, it looks like, um, has, like, a monster ball or something. Oh, damn. Um. But, uh, yeah. So, um, that does look pretty cool. And then you just... Pull this back. 
But um, yeah. But then otherwise the vehicle looks cool itself. Um, turn this around. You would have him sitting. Um, cause this is his vehicle. Right there. Mm. Okay. Um, and then you just make him hold that, and then you'll just start driving around. Um, these don't move up and down or anything, so, uh, yeah. But before we move on, there were some extra pieces, like, but this is one, and then there's others behind the instruction book. Which, the next thing is the instruction book, which is pretty normal. Um, I know I don't really review the instructions book, but, uh, yeah. So, next is the Star Wars set, which, Star Wars is one of my favorite movie trilogies of all time. So, um... I guess we'll just start with IG-88 first, which he does look like a pretty cool minifigure. Um, I already have IG-88, but he looks kind of different. Um, but yeah, he does have two guns, which looks awesome. Um, dang it. Looks like this gun's... Right. Um, which I think I kind of like this gun better. I always like these guns. And then he also has a regular stud shooter, which I'll just... Shoot it on the ground, dang it. Alright, and then you just pull it back, shoot it, and then basically everyone else has the same, well no, yeah, everyone else does the same gun. So, uh, we'll go look at this guy next, which I don't really know what his name is, but he does look pretty detailed. So, um, I really do like the, uh, molted head he has, like, different mold, um, but, uh, yeah, looks pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of, like, a fly. I, don't, I forget which bug it is. <laughs> but, um, otherwise, he, his detail does look, um, pretty cool on the chest design. Whenever I look at it, it feels like he got squirted by, like, ketchup and mustard. Because there's a lot of yellow and, um, a bit of red. But then just a lot of yellow. But, uh, yeah. So now the next minifigure is Dengar, um, which I already had Dengar, so for me, there's nothing to reveal, um, but, oh wait, dang it. I think he has another, oh no, um, he does not have another face, but his face does look pretty cool, um, he is from Freemakers and from The Empire Strikes Back, um, he does have like a pretty cool jetpack thing, and then design, if you kind of just, like, look at it, it kind of looks like RTD2 a little bit. But, uh, yeah. So, the final minifigure in the set is Bosk. I think his name is. Um, which, this is my first Bosk minifigure. Um, but I don't really know a lot about Bosk. I think I'm, I don't really know a lot of these bounty hunters a lot. Um, but I do know Dengar a lot. But, uh, yeah. Um, and Bosk. Um, he doesn't really have any shoes. The detail on his back is nice, and then has the same gun as everyone else. So, now we go on to the speeder bike, which, speeder bike looks really cool. I like how it has, like, the light blue stuff. Um, just push on that a little bit. Um, and then, yeah. Um, and then it also does have, like, rockets or something, and then a stud shooter, pretty same thing, I'll get that later, but, um, yeah, and I really do like the blue to it, but overall, it's a pretty nice vehicle, and I also like the, um, parachute thing on the back, so, uh, those are both sets, and then there's extra pieces for it in the back, and then the instruction book is pretty normal. Um, and of course this is a new summer 2017 set, so it might look a little bit different. And then it has, um, an advertiser for some new Lego Star Wars sets back here. Um, which do look pretty cool. Um, personally I pretty much do want to get the Raptor Escape set, because, um, it was a really cool scene in the movie. Plus it has a lot of cool characters, and plus Freemaker sets would pretty much be good. But, uh, yeah. 
So uh, those are the two sets. I think they're both really cool. Um, I'll definitely probably be picking up more next night set. And um, yeah. And also stay tuned for more um, Lego Batman series stuff coming. Um, Lego Batman v Superman sequel won't probably be coming until tomorrow. Because I barely even started working on that. But uh, yeah. And also check out the channel trailer. It's really cool. But uh, yeah. And also before um, we leave. Um, I don't really know how I'm going to be doing Lego Worlds again. Because there is a glitch that's happening in the game. I think I basically regret doing sandbox mode. Because I think it's a, the glitch with that. Because as soon as I went back into the normal game. There was a volcano in like the first level. But I'll show you the glitch on like a different video or something. But what I'm trying to make is. You might see Lego Dimensions and Lego City Undercover, basically. Well, I don't know about Lego City Undercover, but Lego Dimensions, you'll see. And there probably won't be, like, a new gaming series until November 14th or Christmas with Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. But, uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.